All right, so in this video, I'm gonna make a couple of predictions for 2023. Keep in mind, I don't have a crystal ball that can see the future, but we can use some analysis to deduce some likely outcomes for 2023. And the first outcome I wanna talk about is the potential or the likelihood of a Q1 rally in 2023. Here, we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average making a very common pattern. Now, note that you can always dance on the top of this uh, downtrend line before really taking off, but we are at, a, at an area of support and uh, a relief rally or a further rally uh, in 2023 does look likely, at least for the short term. Another piece of evidence that would support that would be the fact that our yield curve has inverted, which does, right, our, our yield curve inversion does uh, necessitate a, a potential recession in 2023. However, what you'll notice is that very frequently uh, the S&P 500 peaks after, right, after or in congruence with the actual bottoming of the yield curve. And it looks like just recently the yield curve may have bottomed. So this analysis would actually uh, say that the the top may not actually be in yet for the S&P 500. Now, we may not get a full all-time high out of the S&P 500, but we may get just a little bit of a rally uh, to test some of those resistance levels. And then yet another piece of evidence to support the idea of a Q1 rally here for most markets, uh, including crypto, would be this highs minus lows chart where the New York Stock Exchange ha now has more stocks making new highs than new lows, which when you break out of this trend is usually indicative of a bottom. Uh, my next prediction for 2023 is that uh, we will actually get a crash and or recession uh, I say and recession in 2023. The yield curve has inverted to record levels. This is not looking good, uh, but in the short term, I do think there's room for a, ra a rally before we get a uh, worse crash. And I don't necessarily, I know I drew this all the way down here, but I don't necessarily think we'll go that low, probably to test the, these pre-COVID uh, highs uh, in this area of support first. I don't think it'll be nearly as bad as what people like to make it out, saying it's going to be the next 1920. 29 and such. Uh, next, I do think that in a period of recession, as well as a period of uh, war and geopolitical turmoil, commodities usually perform very well. We've seen gold here forming a range. Uh, this is on the weekly chart. So this is going back to 2020, 2021, and then we just closed out 2022. Uh, you'll see that we did in fact uh, push up uh, above or off of the bottom of our range after a small deviation. And I do think that gold can continue to climb in this uh, uh, risky environment. Uh, gold is usually a risk off asset. Um, obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on with uh, Russia and Ukraine, with Russia being a large uh, producer of gold and whatnot, but usually in times of recession and in times of war, commodities such as gold and oil are gonna perform pretty well. I do think oil could potentially see some turbulence in 2023. Um, and then lastly, as far as crypto goes, I do think, I have two more predictions here, um, not lastly, uh, I do think that Ethereum is going to outperform the vast majority of the market. Now, will there be some some uh some off one off cryptocurrencies that do 2 3 4 5 x's and just come out of nowhere certainly we'd we'd expect that in in any market especially uh the crypto market but I do think that this trend, this is the Ethereum chart, the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart. I do think this trend of Ethereum outperforming Bitcoin is probably going to continue into 2023. And that's because of the structural flows. Uh, there's a lot of forced selling of Bitcoin, Bitcoin miner capitulation, whereas there's uh, not that presence here in Ethereum because there are no miners and uh, you can stake and not have to uh, not have to sell to cover the cost of electricity. And then lastly here for crypto, I do think that the end of the year, the second half and really the, the fourth quarter uh, of um, of the crypto of 2023 uh, is going to be a, a time frame where we see a rally out of the crypto market. And that's because of the Bitcoin halving coming up in uh, 2020. March of 2024. So this last quarter here 
of 2023 could see a bid now what happens before then for bitcoin maybe we get a little bit of a rally maybe we get another low maybe it's just boring and sideways it's unclear but i do believe that once we get between six and nine months out from the bitcoin having we'll see uh, a more confident bid come into the crypto space so those are my predictions for 2023 i uh, hope you enjoyed